Welcome back to episode 2 of creating our roguelike game. In this video we're going to add our player. So I'm going to right click, insert new object, and scroll down to our sprite. I'm going to name it player, and click where I want it to spawn. Now I'm just going to import a player that I've already got. This is going to be my main character just here. So I'm going to hit the X, and I'm just going to resize him down. I think that's about a good size. I want to feel quite small, so I can see a lot of the dungeon in one go. And now we want to make it so we can actually move this character about. So I'm going to right click, edit behaviors, and I'm going to add two behaviors. So the first one I want is I want scroll to. This means the camera is always going to focus on our object. And as the object moves or the player moves, the camera is going to move with it. So we can explore around the level. Second one I'm going to add is I'm going to scroll down and add eight directions. Meaning we can move up, down, left and right and diagonals, which is fantastic. So we're going to hit the X and we're going to run it. And as you run it, we see we get a bit of weird behavior. So our player is like upside down. So we don't want that. So we're going to scroll down. I'm going to set angle to no. I'm also going to slow down my player a little bit so it doesn't move around the level just as quickly. So I'm just going to tone a lot of these down. Like so. And then I'm going to run it again. So now he's moving around the level, and it feels a bit more like a dungeon. Obviously, if I go too far down, you can start seeing the white space. I've not built the level up yet. That's absolutely fine. We'll build up the levels later on. But I can now move around the level. We want to work on some of his animations. So when he's moving upwards, we're seeing the back of him. And then when we're moving left and right, we get a different animation. So let's implement them now. So we need to go to our player, right click, and edit animations. Now, this animation that we've got at the moment is actually my character facing right. So I'm going to rename this idle, idle right. And I'm going to duplicate this. And I'm going to call this idle left. And I'm just going to flip the character so it's facing the other way. I'm going to duplicate again. And I'm going to rename idle down. So what happens when he's facing down or looking down? And for this one, I'm going to take his expression. I'm just going to try and center it as best as I can. Like so. It's about as center as I think I'm going to get. I'll use the eye drop to get that color of purple back. And then I'll just fill in the gap. Okay. So now that's him looking straight down. And then I'm going to duplicate this again. I'm going to rename this idle up. And for this one, nice and simple for my character. I'm just going to make it so he's not looking at us anymore. So we're seeing the back of him. So there's my different idle animations I've got. So I can hit X now. And now I need to actually tell the game which one I want to show at what time. So I'm going to add a new object type by either right clicking the objects folder or just right clicking on a blank space. And I want to add the keyboard. This gives us access to keyboard functions and check what keys are being pressed. Now I can move to my event sheet. And I can add some events. So first I'm going to say keyboard. Key is down. I'm going to check if they're pressing the left key. If they're pressing the left key, I want player to set animation to idle left. I'm going to copy and paste this. And now I'm going to do the right key. And do idle right. I'm copy and paste this again. I'm going to set this to up. Oh, to the up key. Press OK. But before we carry on, we've got the issue of what happens if they press two keys at the same time. So what happens if they press up and left or up and right? So what we're going to do is if this key is down and the left key is down and the right key is down. And then all we're going to do is we're going to invert these two here. Like so. So now the up animation is only going to play. So let's change that to idle up. If we're pressing the up key only and we're not pressing left and right. That way if we press up and left or up and right. Then it will play the left and right animations and they'll take priority. So we can still see our player when it's moving diagonally up. 
if we're using a joystick, then obviously we'd prioritize which one is got the highest value out of the two, but for key presses, this is the best way we can solve that issue. So we can copy and paste this once more, and now we can check the down arrow, and we can do idle down, like so. So now we're test, uh, ready to test this, so let's hit run. So now when I'm going downwards, I've got my animation going down, I've got my left, right, and up and if I press diagonal you'll see that it takes priority of left and right instead okay so we've got a very very basic movement of our character being able to move around and obviously we've got the different animations for it as well